Jujitsu is my saving grace. Changed my whole life. Jujitsu is yeah. Jujitsu is is my whole life. So, okay, but just one I'll try, sentence. I'll try to make it small. Just one sentence. I'll try to make it small. Ah, uh, one sentence. My name is Raquel Pablo Canuto. This is my husband Hinato Canuto. <laughs> you gotta introduce yourself. I gotta introduce myself yes. too. So introduce yourself again. Well, let's go. This is just talking, right? Just say your name. I already did mine. I did mine. Just my name is. Yeah, just say my name. Is. Okay. My name is Hinato Canuto. This is my wife. My dad is like one of the pioneers for MMA in Hawaii. So I grew up around martial arts, but I was like the, the least likely to do any of, do it. Like I was so uncoordinated. Like I was almost like embarrassing to my family. They didn't want to let me wrestle and stuff, you know, or like, but uh, when I was 10th grade, I started wrestling. And then I wrestled uh, three years in high school and then I got a scholarship to go wrestle in college. I wrestled one year in college and then I was like going to transfer to a different school. But during the summer, like some things that happened, I ended up like staying home. I didn't go back and I started fighting MMA. I had like a bunch of losses by submission. So it was like in 2012, the end of the year, my coach at the time, he was a black belt in Jiu Jitsu. So he said, you're gonna take one year off, you're gonna put the gi on and just train in the gi. And I was just like, cause I hated like, I, you know, I'd like trained a handful of times in gi, but not like anything serious over that three years that I was fighting. And I, I was just like, okay, well, like, he, I, I, I listened to him because he was, he was my coach and he was someone I really admired. I was like, okay, like whatever you say, I'm going to do. So I started just training in the Gi. I think this was in like October, November of 2012. And then there was a big tournament coming here. So he said like, hey, if you want to go compete, go compete. So I had no clue like what the tournament was about or anything, but it was like the big tournament now that they have is a, other than the worlds and stuff for IBJJF is the world pro. But back then it was like the fourth or fifth year that they were having it so they had a trials here in hawaii so i was like oh, okay i'll go do it you know so it was like white and blue belt together as a white belt at the time and i won my division and then i went to the open there was four matches and then i i ended up winning the open too and then you want a ticket to go to abu dhabi to compete so that was like that that is what changed my life it's like doing that tournament i had no clue what i was doing like i just went there like double legged everyone arm barred them double leg them arm bar like I did like five matches, you know, I had six matches. I did like five matches. And I, like, I then I like, oh, okay, want a ticket to go to Abu Dhabi, okay. So a couple months later, I went there and like, I just saw from close, like how big Jiu Jitsu was, you know, like at the time, like I had no clue who anyone was, you know, and I went there and I was like, wow, like, unless you're in the world of Jiu Jitsu, like you don't realize how big it is, you know? So like that, that was like the, those months like changed my whole life because after that, it was just like, I think it was like the lifestyle, the people, the, how different they were from like MMA fighters. There was like a lot of ego and a lot of, like they were just so, such different people, you know? So that's how I like really got into Jiu Jitsu was because of that. Yeah, I always wanted to be a fighter. I always liked it to watch the cartoons, the, of the fighting stuff, the action movies. Uh, was it, uh, John Club and them. Teach me. I can all do those, you know, all those, those kind of things. So I got into Jiu Jitsu when I was, a kid still, I was eight. I used, I tried karate before. I tried, I tried judo. I was doing like judo for a year. And it wasn't really like, I didn't really love it, but I was trying, you know, like I like it. I was trying. And then uh, my dad always did jujitsu. And jujitsu, that's kind of what I really wanted to do, but we didn't have a kids program at the time. So as he got his black belt, he uh, he got invited like a year later, I think. He got invited to to go teach in a place like in a social project. So it was like a government thing, like for poor kids and stuff. So I was the he, like I, I went for the first time to train under my dad at that gym, and then the first day we had like one lady and one 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 boy that. 
and it was just like funny like to to look back then like when i when we started from where we came and like you just just kind of change my whole like, like even my family's life you know i um i met Hinato for the first time in 2015. Uh, he would come twice a year from brazil to um for the like pan ams and world camp so that was the first time that i met him but i didn't like he was like 17 years old, I think. Were you 17? I think he was like 17 and he had like, he didn't have all of this. He was just like, had the, he had braces and he had glasses and he had a goofy haircut. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he came the next year uh, for, to, for the Pan Ams and uh, he was a brown belt. And then he had all of this. Now he was like a little bit bigger and, you know, grew up a little bit. He was getting out of something and I was kind of getting out of something bad. And I was like, oh, just like was ready for something different, you know. And I was like, oh, here's this kid. He's 19. He's going to be here for three months, you know, like, oh, let's see what we can do. And um, I was like, a, I was older than him, but we were both kind of in the same place in our career where he kind of like he felt like he had outgrown where he was. And I came to Las Vegas. I felt like I had outgrown where I was. And we were just like trying to do whatever we could to get to where we wanted to be, you know. So when he came, he was like kind of in his last like just okay like came four years already trying to win the worlds he didn't win uh like would get close you know like second third like never win uh get out in the quarterfinals or whatever it was so when um that yeah so like we, we would we bonded really fast so for that three months we just trained ate slept trained ate slept like tra went to the gym drilled together and like it was like immediate, like I just, he knew, I think, I think I was just too scared, you know, but right away he was like two weeks into all of this. He's like, we're going to get, let's get married. Let's get married. And I was just like, you're 19, you know, you don't even know what you want, you know? And then, um, yeah, like over that training camp, we just get like, everything was just felt right. You know, we both went to the worlds. I went to the finals. I lost in the finals. And then I went to the open. I got third. I lost in the semifinals, but it was like the next day he went and he won the Worlds. So he had six matches, four submissions, like killed it, you know. So for him, like <clears throat> after the Worlds, like we're getting married, like you are the you are the difference. You're the difference. Like I came all these other years and never won. I don't know. We just kind of lived up by ourselves. Like we trained with everyone for sure, but like we were in our own world, like living a dream, like doing that, that whole camp. And then after that, it was just... After I even told I, I told her like after we got married and everything it was that was what I felt like I wanted for my life. So now I have a purpose, right? Like now I fight for a purpose, fight for my family. I think that we gave up like a stable life to to chase this this dream, you know, like. And I, I, I think that's what pushes us like that really because I don't I don't want to be homeless and I don't want to be broke and I don't want to be like wondering when we're going to have money or if we're going to be able to pay our bills. And I think that that's a lot that has a lot to do with like us doing doing like we're not there yet. Like we're definitely not there yet, but we're close, you know, like I think what we've done in a short amount of time is just just us like constantly like like that idea like not wanting to not wanting to fail like not wanting to like not have done this for nothing because like this is the life that we're gonna like th at this point there's no question of if we're gonna do it it's just when we will you know my mom wanted me to to study and stuff and i said no mom like i i'll be a fighter like i'm telling you oh no but you need a plan b but i was like no if i have a plan b sometimes it'll get hard and i will end up going to the plan b if i don't have I rather, or, or I would do it, or I'm gonna die trying. But that's what, that, I don't know, like I think that I, I need, I need to be more than the, I was supposed to be. Maybe I will never be the UFC champion. Maybe I will never be a black belt world champion. But I want, the legacy I leave behind is showing people that you can do it. Like you, it, it's, you don't have to be, from a rich family or you don't have to be from a rich neighborhood or you don't have to have all the resources but you can go and find them and you can go and do it and you can find a way to do it and I, I just want to inspire people to try you know because I shouldn't be here you 
you know, but I made sure I found ways to get here. You know, and now I am here. We have been like hitting the, like, hitting the, that, that door like for a long time and finally like someone answered. So we are, we are trying to, we are trying to make it happen. Every day I like look at my life around me and I'm like, I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for him, you know? So I think that that, like seeing everything that he does pushes me to want to be better or to do better. And it's funny because whenever we go to tournaments, we'll get like the same result. Like we go to the Worlds and I win gold. And then he's like, okay, I'm not going to be the one that, that screws up the day for the family, you know? So like he goes in and gets, he'll go and get and win the Worlds with me, you know? And then like even this, the, that was an old Worlds, like the regular Worlds, I went and lost in the the, the finals and he'll go and lose in the finals too you know <laughs> it's like we're always like pushing each other Oh, my God. 